Hi everybody, I'd like to do a little drawing tutorial with you today uh, in Adobe Illustrator and this is what we are going to create. Um, it's going to take a while so uh, bear with me, I'm going to try to do it uh, as quick as I possibly can but I'm going to try to take you through it step by step. We've got some great um, textures in there, we've got some uh, some cool shapes uh, and I think it works uh, pretty pretty well. I saw this beautiful illustration and it kind of like made me realize uh, Sword on Pinterest um, it, saw, it just made me realize how beautiful you can actually illustrate with some very simple uh, textures and very simple shapes. So I thought um, let me uh, let me illustrate a or let me let me rather um, redraw uh, an egg. Um, and I will take you through it uh, step by step. So there is the image that I found on um, Unsplash and I will also uh, credit the beautiful uh, photograph. Uh, loved it. So yeah, so that's what we're going to do. Um, you can see that there are loads of layers. Uh, so, so yes, we need to be uh, very, very good with our layers. Um, we need to be very good with our layers because otherwise uh, things are going to get really, uh, really messy. All right, so I'm going to make a new uh, document and I'm just going to make it 600 by uh, 600 pixels. Okay, I am going to uh, bring in um, that image um, that I have uh, found um, and I will... Uh, quickly uh, place it. Uh, ben Cold, a uh, great photograph. Uh, thank you very much. Very, very, very nice. So I'm just going to drag it, uh, holding down shift, and uh, there is my photograph. I'm going to use this as a template layer, but uh, just off the bat, if you're going to use a, an illustration or a photograph as a template layer to help you draw, um, just source the colors before the time because otherwise the colors are going to be very muted and it's it's not correct. So that's also why in mine you saw that um, I had my, my colors to the side. So yeah, so that's what I'm going to do uh, first. I'm just going to give myself um, just going to give myself some uh, some colors. So I'm going to source the gray. Um, a little bit of a darker gray. And, and so we're going to go on um, just the color for the, for the egg because it is kind of like... Um, not completely gray. Um, sourcing a nice orange, uh, sourcing a nice darker, darker orange. Um, going to source a little bit of the guacamole, I assume. Um, and darker green. Uh, and then for the bread, um, I'll just do another one here, another one there. For the bread, I'm just going to source kind of a mid, mid, -tone, mid tone and then kind of a, a light mid and nice one for the crust. Um, and maybe, maybe one for the outer rim of the shadow because it's not really... Um, it's not really that gray. Okay, so once we once we've got that, we want um, we want these uh, colors to go into our swatches palette. So um, on our little uh, menu in swatches, we're just going to say either add selected colors or select all, um, or we can say add use colors, and then they'll pop in. Now what I'd like to do is I like to select them all and create uh, a kind of a new uh, color group for myself so that I just knew this is my tutorial. Um, egg 
color so that I just know. And next time if I if I want it, then um, then it is all kind of there. Now you can uh, you can kind of like take that um, out of the uh, equation now. Now we're going to go to layer one. We're going to go to our hamburger menu again, our drop down, and we're going to make it a, a template layer. Now what is nice about template layer and why I uh, like working with it is because I can view it in the Y mode as well. Um, and that just, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's really cool. So you can create um, uh, very quickly um, without being disturbed by the image. And then obviously also it's locked, so you don't um, you can't move it. All right. So my first is going to be uh, the base of my uh, the base of the plate. So I'm just going to just quickly start. Um, because this is going to become an icon, um, I'm also going to kind of like uh, not going to be too illustrative. Um, okay, happy with that. Uh, so now I can, again, I can source the color, but you'll see that the color is much lighter than, um, than actually um, what, uh, what uh, we sourced at the beginning. Okay, so uh, so let's uh, let's start. Um, I'm going to use my pen tool. I'm going to start with this kind of like dark area here. Uh, I know that I want a kind of rim there at the top. So again, I'm just going to use my uh, my darker gray color. So you'll see it, it is quite uh, is quite um, quite dark. Now um, here comes the beautiful part of it. I want some texture in it. So. If I go out, I want some uh, I want some texture, but I'm also going to give it a slight uh, slight gradient before I get there. So I'm going to uh, just click on my uh, gradient palette. I'm gonna click in, uh, and I'll remember always hold on Alt, and I'm just gonna click in, hold on Alt. I want to do it the dark gray, and that's going to double click. That's gonna go to the light. Uh, light gray. Now, if you click inside, uh, if you press G, um, you should get the gradient um, annotator. Now, this thing is really amazing because now you can swing it around and you can actually go and move your gradient. You can also make it a bit smaller. Um, and you can actually very quickly make sure that the gradient sits exactly where you kind of want it. So I do want it to kind of like go just a, not as harsh. Um, and But I do want it to go to kind of my, my stop uh, gray. All right, so I'm kind of like happy with that. Uh, next is I'm going to copy this and paste it to front. So that's uh, Command or uh, Control C and then F uh, so that it, it's to the top. Then I'm going to, uh, this one I am going to replace with a, now a solid, a black, and then a white. All right. Uh, again, I'm just going to click it. Come now. And I'm going to um, hold on Alt. So place it with a solid. Uh, white and again um, with my gradient annotator I'm just going to uh, increase uh, that color there and just decrease it a little bit okay now we're going to go to effect and we're going to go to uh, texture and we're going to add grain okay so this is going to pop up um, the grain um, in, in the effect gallery. Now you can play around with the contrast. By the way, it has to be stippled. Okay, that's your best option. Uh, it is normal grain, it's not form grain. So I'm going to increase that. I'm also going to increase my um, or decrease my contrast ever so slightly and increase my uh, intensity so I get quite a lot of dots there. When I'm happy, I'm going to say OK. Obviously, if this happens, don't uh, don't freak out. You have to go to Effects, and then you have to go uh, to the Document Raster Effect settings, and you want to make sure that it's set on High. And then also, Anti-Elias is always good. And there is the actual gray that you uh, do want to see. Now, very important, when you create a gradient for, uh, for your grain, um, you might want to just change your uh, white to transparent. So you can actually see what's happening underneath. 
Uh, and then this whole shebang, I am actually going to go into my layer two. I'm going to uh, select that. And then on my appearance palette, I love the appearance palette. On the appearance palette, I'm also going to change that opacity of that shape uh, to, uh, let me just click off and on. The opacity of that shape, I want to, uh, to change to say 30%. So it's not as much uh, in your face, but it's just, um, it is just there. There is another trick that you can also do, which I also kind of like is if I go to my main path, uh, in my, um, in my layers palette, I can also go to effects. I can go to blur. I can go and put a, uh, Gaussian blur on it. All right. And, um, it is just going to, uh, soften those edges a little bit, which just gives you a little bit of a, yeah, of a beautiful softer, uh, finish to your, um, illustration. Okay, we're going to go to Y, by the way. I'm just going to save this as plate. Uh, and then I am going to do my um, this inside little bit because that is actually, I'm going to cheat, that is actually going to be a little bit lighter. Uh, so uh, this time I am just going to uh, select um, the lighter color. And I'm just going to cheat. I'm going to go in here and I'm actually just going to make it a little bit lighter. I am also going to use that same little trick for this side of the plate. I'm going to make that that same color as well. Now, again, I can now go to effects. I can apply a, a Gaussian blur to this, uh, again, just to, um, just to make those, uh, edges, uh, a little bit, uh, a little bit softer. And then what I am also going to do is I am going to add a little bit of a shadow there. So I'm just going to go and do a tiny little, tiny little shape there. I'm going to source that color. And I'm going to make this now a multiply. So I'm going to go to my transparency uh, palette. I'm going to make this uh, multiply. I'm going to take down the opacity to about 50. Um, and that's just going to give me a little bit of a line. Again, I can go and apply um, uh, my Gaussian blur to that as well. All right, just to kind of like uh, soften this. So I just want a little bit of a little bit of a of an edge. And we can do this uh, to to all the all the sides if you really want to just uh, be be really cool and yeah, make something like really really nice. I can also add a little bit of a highlight, which I'll do later. Okay, all right, I'm now just going to uh, save this, um, and I'm just going to make this, um, twelve, one, and two. All right. When we're happy with the plate, let me just move my layers around. When we're happy with the plate, then uh, I call it lock and low. So just lock this layer. Oh, let's just do the background for now. Let's do a new uh, new layer. I'm going to do a, just a big square so that we know what we're doing. Um, then this one, we can cheat a little bit. Move that on here. Make it a little bit warmer. Make it a bit dark. Okay. All right. Oh, we can do it a gray. It doesn't really matter. And I'm just going to call this uh, background. I'm just going to call it background. Okay, and now we can lock and load. So we're going to lock these layers, we're going to create a new layer, and this, I'm just going to call this bread. So I'm just going to start at the bottom and work my way up. 
So I'm going to take my uh, I'm going to take my pen tool and I'm just going to quickly go. You want to make this really nice and round. You don't want to again. You don't want to make too many um, too many nodes because uh, it is going to be an icon. So you don't want to as again as I said. You don't want to make it too illustrative because you want to use this as an icon. All right. So I'm just going to. Um, do that. So the first uh, color that I, oh, I'm just going to move this layer up. The first color that I'm going to uh, place there now is obviously the the darkest color. So that's what it's going to look like. So the trick that I'm going to use next is I just want that crust. So basically, I'm selecting that shape. I'm going to go to Object Path, Offset Path. Um, to the inside, which is minus. Now I've done it before, so that's why it says minus three pixels. So I'm going to go preview. That looks great. Uh, I could probably do it too as well, but that's just going to give me um, that that other shape. So now I can select that, and I can actually fill that with my uh, lighter color. And there, um, there I have my bread. Okay, so now I'm going to select uh, the top color. Uh, same story. I'm going to go Control C, Control F. Then I'm going to apply a uh, standard gradient, black and white. And again, I am going to make sure that my uh, stop is white. Indeed. And again, this opacity is going to be zero. So that's what you're going to get. Okay. On the gradient annotator, I'm just going to... Uh, oh, I'm actually going to make this radial. Yes, I'm actually going to make this uh, radial. And I'm also going to just kind of like pull this out so it's a little bit, little bit bigger. Then, um, yeah, you want to make sure that, again, you want to make sure that your white is set on uh, zero opacity, but your black is set on 100. I'm going to go, again, back into effects. This time, again, we're going to go to texture. We're going to go to grain. And same story. We're going to check the grain out. Okay. So I can go again up into my contrast, less contrast. I can go to intensity and I can actually uh, drag that up or a little bit, little, 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 little. I just don't want, um, I don't want that much, but I want quite a, quite a hectic intensity. So happy with that. Say, okay. All right. So that's what we, that's what we're going to get. Uh, same story as before. Um, this gradient, if I go to my appearance palette now, if I just click on and off, um, this uh, opacity I am going to uh, turn uh, to 50. But what you also can do is you can actually, uh, you don't have to use it, um, I'm going to make it multiply, but you don't have to use multiply, you can actually also use a screen. So if you want, if you want your bread to be a little bit lighter, then you can. I am going to use a multiply for now, I think that's, uh, that is quite cool. All right, on the Y mode, um, uh, yeah, I've got, I mean, it, it is quite a lot uh, lighter, but as I say, um, we can we can always uh, fix that a little bit later. We're going to lock and load, and we're going to do the first part of our egg. So I'm just going to call this egg one, uh, or maybe egg white is probably better. Save it again. Uh, again, uh, P uh, for pen tool, and now I'm just going to go and uh, draw my egg. Again, you want to draw it uh, quite smooth. Now, the other trick to do once you've drawn your shape, all right, is actually, if I go to Y mode out, I'm going to just fill this with my uh, lightest color. Um, another trick that you want to do is you want to go to object, you want to go to path, and you can go to simplify. Um, and it can sometimes uh, help you to simplify your shapes, or what you also can do is, I can never find this tool, um, the smooth tool. You can go to the smooth tool um, and you can literally just go around it and you can actually uh, smooth your uh, your shape up so if we if we draw something like icons um, or illustrations that you want to be quite smooth then uh, smooth edges then uh, the smooth tool is uh, is um, really um, really grand 
Okay, so we've got that. I'm actually just going to hide the bread for now. Uh, it's a bit um, irritating. Okay, so this is my this is my first uh, egg. Uh, the next one is uh, the second shape. All right, and the reason why I'm going to do a, se a second shape, second shape, is I did not drink. Um, is that I do want to create something that's a lot lighter. So that's kind of what we what we're going to uh, what we're going to get now. Um, this one I can also maybe cheat to just make it a little bit lighter. Yeah, that's better. Okay, all right. Back onto the back onto the Y mode. I'm doing the the um, the solids first. New layer. This time I'm going to do the uh, egg uh, yellow. All right, again, pen tool. Uh, I mean, obviously, if you have a Wacom, um, then that's also grand. All right, um, this is going to be the lightest color. Yeah, happy, happy with that. Okay. Right, so now we've got our base. Um, we can bring the bread uh, back if you, uh, if you want. Now we've got our base. Now we can start to uh, play around. I'll put the bacon bits, um, the bacon bits on a little bit later. Okay. So what we what we really want is some some darker areas, and there's a, a lot of tools that you can uh, that you can use for it. So I'm also going to work on um, the egg uh, the egg white bit first. So uh, I can use uh, the blob tool. I'm gonna go out in the Y mode so you just see what I'm going to do. I can use uh, the blob tool and I'm going to choose my um, my uh, darker color, uh, the darker of the gray. And I can now go and just uh, draw um, some arbitrary shapes. Okay, what I wanna do is I kind of want to draw where I know there is going to be uh, darker areas. So you just want to draw some areas where where there's some darker areas. Okay, so that looks a bit weird. And you can use uh, different sizes, um, different sizes. If you want some some highlights, um, you can. Um, I quite like to just here and there add some some cool highlights. Okay. Now the nice thing about this is I can obviously use my um, nice thing about Illustrator, I can obviously use my uh, little magic wand and I select everything that has the same, that has the same color. All right, so now I'm going to do uh, two things. Um, you can go back to uh, effects and you can go to uh, Gaussian blur and you can, uh, you can blur it and it becomes uh, a little bit uh, softer. All right, I can also select it and I can just, um, Go to my uh, transparency palette, and I can actually take that transparency off. So it is it is there, but it's not there, um, and it just gives uh, it just gives it a little bit of a uh, a cooler look. I can also make it even lighter. So I'm just going to give it a little bit of texture with that. All right, let me just take it down uh, to 20 percent, maybe 20 is too. Do a 40. All right. I can also create on some of them, I can uh, create a gradient. So in this case, I'm going to do a gradient, uh, obviously not black, but the gradient of that uh, darker, darker color uh, to nothing. And then I can take uh, that opacity off to say a 50, and I now have a far better looking um, 
better looking object. Um, and again, if you just click back, then um, back into the gradient, uh, they're all going to be uh, they're all going to be uh, similar. Um, but again, you can with a gradient annotator, you can now go and you can play around with it. If I wanted uh, linear, I can do it linear um, because it's now all set. So it just kind of gives me, just kind of gives me more control over playing um, with some uh, with some uh, shapes. Uh, it's just uh, easier to uh, to draw them to draw them very quickly with the uh, with the blob tool than it is to actually try to uh, do everything with the the pen tool. Okay, so this just kind of give me um, some some cool uh, areas um, on my egg uh, and just looks makes it look a little bit more real. So again, I'm just going to play with the gradient. So that I kind of create uh, these uh, shadows. Um, while looking um, on the on the Y mode for um, for what I'm I have to see there. Okay, so this again just give me a little bit of little bit of texture. All right, the next thing that I want to do is I want to take this Y. I'm just going to move it uh, again. I'm going to do this on the Y mode so that you can see. All right, so. I'm going to select uh, the white and I'm just going to offset it, drag it ever so slightly. All right. Uh, copy one, paste it to the front. Okay. And then, because now you have three, uh, select uh, two of them and you are going to use your cut from back. Just make sure the right one, oops, the right one is to the top. Uh, you're going to do a uh, minus front. That's going to give you just that sliver. All right, and that sliver we are going to just make slightly darker. And also we are going to make it... Uh, we don't even have to make it multiply. Right, so that just gives you a beautiful little uh, little bit of uh, shadow um, on that um, on that one edge. And that's why I said it's it's nice to do uh, two of them because actually then you can you can play with the uh, difference in in colors um, much better. 